So let's talk about calculating gross pay for different pay periods. So first, let's, let's talk about a weekly pay period. So here we have an annual salary of $50,000 and the number of pay periods in a year. So in this case, there are 52 pay periods in a year. And I'll just go ahead and key in the formula. So $50,000 divided by 52 pay periods. This equals a weekly pay of $961.54. So if you don't know how to use the formulas in Excel, you can just go ahead and use a, a calculator and you can go ahead and key in the answer. So we'll have $961.54. And that's fine um, if you wanna do it that way, but I'll, I'll go ahead and work with the formulas. So for a biweekly pay period, this means that a person is paid every two weeks. And so this will equal um, 26 pay periods for the whole year. So we can go ahead and enter in 26 right here. And this equals a biweekly pay of, let's go ahead and divide 50,000 by 26. So here you will have a biweekly payment of $1,923.08. Now ne next is a semi-monthly pay period. So this means that you are paid twice a month. So typically this is either the first or the 15th or the 15th um, and the 30th of each month. And so number of pay periods in a year in this case would be twice a month. So that would be 24 pay periods in a year. And so let's divide the annual salary by 24. And this equals a semi-monthly payment of 2,808, excuse me, $2,083.33. So now for the monthly pay period, it looks like I already have the numbers keyed in here, but for a monthly pay period, we have an annual salary of $50,000. And in this case, there are 12 months in a year. So there are 12 pay periods in a year. So let's just go ahead and divide 50,000 by 12. And that equals a monthly payment of $4,166.67. And these are our gross payments. So this is before um, any taxes or any other um, the deductions such as um, health insurance um, and 401k come out of your check. So this is how we will calculate the gross payment for these different types of pay periods.